the Dog Warren Maiden is the final race of the week. It's a seven furlong Maiden, it's the material old race, and at the top we've got Brucey Bonus. Paul Martin Leadham, Cactus Digby for Jamie Hopkins, Intergenerational Joshua Sutherland, Moon Crescent for Nick Driver, Cracker Steam Jamie Gollins, Roddy for James Shea, Tigerfish Daniel French, Zagalini's Junior Dan Hughes, Clowns Court Leon Van Rensburg, Crusher Grape Alex Cherry, Quanto Davis, Jai Bermanstein, Liquid's Courage for Matt Cooper, Martha Trapane for Darren Thompson, Morello Relic for Drake Hogan, and there she goes for Derek Hinton. 15 of them then in this final race of week one and ready to go and away we go then for the final time this week with the Mahada Trapane closest to us quickly away right over on the far side block the centre really Cactus Digby is going on the one nearest to us Mahada Trapane pulling for its head the two greys have come flying out of the pack as well the Danny Hughes horse right over on the far side Zagalini's junior and then the Derek Hinton one there she goes in the pink down on this near side so those four have pulled away from the field although Moon Crescent is trying to go with them so too is Brucey Bonus and, and also another one up there is Quanto Davis but the leader Cactus Digby has got a good four length lead over the two greys Zagalini's junior and there she goes and also the one closer closer to us which is Mahada Trapane. That was now moved through into second. Brucey Bonus is in fifth, looking towards the back. Cracker's Dream is now just the back marker, but Cactus Digby passes the three-pole and gets passed as well by Mahada Trapane, who's now gone on. So Mahada Trapane, but Cactus Digby is fighting back. There she goes, his next in, Zagalini's Junior. He knows banded into Generationals, caught up the centre of the track with a good-looking run as well. So too, Tiger Fish is there. Roddy's also coming through with a run on the far rail now. Roddy's going to come through to Take the lead, I think. Roddy thanks it up with a furlong to go. It's Roddy who's gone on from Marder Trapane in second into generation is next. Here comes Clowns Court with a fast looking run as well. There's still a quarter of a furlong to go. It's gonna be a tight one. Roddy needs a line to come. A four flash past the line to get him. It's just Clowns Court, Tiger Fish, Roddy into generation after that. Then Marder Trapane and all the way back to Cracker's Dream. It was the last one to finish. And it's not been a lucky day for James Shea today, disqualified in a group one, and he just got touched off there. And the jockey did seem to ease up a bit. But Clowns Court takes it for Leon Van Rensburg. Tiger Fish is second for Daniel French. Roddy was third for James Shea, intergenerational for Joshua Sutherland, fourth, and Marda Trapane for Darren Thompson was fifth. That's Week one done. If you started off and you don't think you've done very well, don't worry. The handicaps will start next week. You get a nice low mark. You never know what might happen. And one or two people as well should be quite pleased with the way they've started, particularly Paul Parsons and Jay Bermiston as well. Had a couple of really good runs. James Shea's gone back with a bang. Daniel French has gone back with a bang. It's looking like it's going to be a pretty exciting season. We'll be back next week for a bit more. <laughs>